Hey guys, so today I'm be showing you guys my Funko Pop collection and I have quite a few. Um, yeah, so I'm be showing you guys. So the first one I have, the first one I ever got was actually just Captain Hook Funko Pop and my grandma got me this one from the Disney store. So yeah, he's my very first one, I think. Yeah. They used to, I remember like they used to sell them at the Disney store a lot, like before Hot Topic started selling them everyone else. So this is my very first one. Okay, so I'm not be doing them all in order, but this is actually the second one I got. And for some reason, this one's dirty. This one's Corella Deville. I don't know if y'all can see like if she's dirty or whatnot. I don't know. But it just goes dark every time I put her close to the camera, but whatever. Um, yep, her face is actually dirty right here in her hair. But this is probably my second pop. My grandma got me this one at the Disney store. It was probably on sale when she got it. And for next one is Eric Draven from Most Favorite Movie Ever, The Crow, obviously. Um, this one's actually, this is a Hot Top exclusive. I should have kept the box. I don't think I can have the box still. But it actually glows in the dark. I think his face glows in the dark. I can't remember. But it said glow in the dark on the box when I got him. And he's super cute. Like, he has like his little coat and his little outfit, his face paint and everything. And this is probably one of my favorite ones. The next one is Edward Scissorhands, and he's super cute. He has like little scars on his face, he's got little scissor hands, of course, and everything. Okay, the next two are from the movie Up, and I got Carl and Russell. And these are super cute. My grandma got me these two. I don't really like Russell because he looks like, really cute and short. He has like this little cute like, big head, and there's Russell. And it looks practically exactly like, I mean, Russell. This is Russell, this is Carl. My bad. Carl is like, he's pretty cute. He has big glasses and everything, and his little cane with the tennis balls on it. So I thought that was super cute. The next two I have are from Frozen. I'm not really a huge fan of the movie, but my grandma got me these. Um, this one's Anna and Elsa. I have both of them. She's holding a little snowflake. I thought it was super cute. And there's... What's her face? Oh, I mean... Not Elsa. This is Anna. My bad. I get them so confused half the time. But yes, I got both of them. Next two are from the first Alice in Wonderland movie by Tim Burton. And I have the Red Queen and I also got the Mad Hatter. The Red Queen is super cute because she has like this huge head. Obviously, just like the Red Queen in the movie. And the Mad Hatter, I like him too with his little hat. He's got a little teacup in his hand and everything. I thought it was like super normal. So yeah. And I almost forgot, I actually have Alice from Alice in Wonderland. So she goes along with the Mad Hatter, no, no, Mad Hatter and the Queen. I, I totally forgot I had this one to be honest. Um, so yeah, I have like all three of these ones and it's super cute. She's got her little dress and everything. I love it. The next two are from the Cinderella movie and I had Cinderella and the Mouse. And I think these are the only two they made from the movie. So I have basically all the Cinderella pops. Um, the Mouse, I really, uh, this is Gus Gus. Um, I really like this one because it's super cute. It's like a little... It's a little mouse in a shoe. He's got the glass slipper. And he actually does come out of the slipper actually too. So it's just a little mouse. I thought this one was like super adorable. My grandma like literally hunted everywhere. Like she kept going to Hot Topic like all the time. Just at she kept asking them if they kept if they had it and whatnot. But she finally found it and got it for me for Christmas, I think. I'm not hundred percent sure. And then of course here's Cinderella. She's got her little slipper and everything. Okay, the next one is actually, I think this is a Hot Topic exclusive, it's a hot, it's a Jack Skellington and the little vampire Teddy, and it came together actually, and I think this one might be going dark, I'm not sure, but I thought this is super cute because like, it came with a little teddy bear, I guess it's a teddy bear, yeah, and I, I don't know, this is like probably like, one of my favorites because it's little and, and it looks cute, it's from Nightmare for Christmas, and yeah, these two go together, so... This next one I have is actually a little tiny Ariel. I don't have a full size one, but I don't know where Grandma got this one from. It's super cute because it's just like really tiny. And I like the little small Funko, so this is really cute. Next two I have is Frankenstein and his bride. And I'm not sure if this one goes in the dark. Nah, I doubt it, but like they might go in the dark. I'm not sure. But these are probably like my two favorites. They were super cute. My grandma got them for me for Christmas. I can't remember, like last year or so. I don't remember, but. I thought these were like super cute. The next two I have is actually Herman Munster and Lily Munster. These ones are super cute too. I kind of have them close to my Bride and Frankenstein and Frankenstein. But I thought these were super cute. And I would really love if they made the Adams Family because I would totally buy them all. Like really I would. But these are only two I have in the Munster. The next ones I have for are from American Horror Story Freak Show. And I have almost a whole entire collection. And I have Elsa Mars and Little Muppet Seat. They came together in a set, and Malpati is super cute, like I love this one because she's like, she's like super tiny compared to Elsa. It's so cute, this is probably like one of my favorites. Um, next I also have, um, what's her face? What are these names again? 
I forgot. Hold on. Bit and Dot. Yes, I have Bit and Dot. I thought this was really cool because they're two-headed. You normally don't see two-headed pops anywhere, so I thought this was like super cute. And the next one, the last one from the freak show I have is Twisty the Clown. And he's super cute. My grandma doesn't like him. She says he's scary, but whatever. I like him. He's probably also one of my favorites. And my sister actually has Pepper. So basically, I kind of have the whole entire collection of the American Horror Story Freak Show, but... This next one I have is actually from the Book of Souls, I think. I think that's what the movie's called. Oh, the Book of Life. Oh, I don't know. Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> I never really saw the movie, so I don't know what character this is, but my grandma got this for me because she thought I liked it. And it's actually pretty cute. I actually like it. It kind of makes me want to watch the movie. I think it is Book of Life, but anyways, um... Yeah, it's just super cute. I like. I really love her outfit. Her hat is super cute. And this one's actually really heavy, actually. It's heavier than like most pops. So that's probably what I like. It's pretty cool. I like it. This next one I have is Ultron from the Age of Ultron movie. And Ultron is actually one of my most favorite characters because he's kind of funny the way he talks and the way he acts. So I thought this one was actually... I think my sister gave me this for Christmas, I think. And... Oh, someone did. I don't remember. But I thought this was super cute. And it's actually like a bubble head. So it moves his little head. So... Yeah, Ultron's probably like one of my favorite characters in the movie because he's a bad guy. I like I like bad guys sometimes, so yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. The next one I have is BB-8, and he comes off his little podium thing, and super cute. He's just like a little ball, and his head actually moves too, just like the Ultron. So this is probably like one of my favorites. This next one I have is Chucky from Child's Play 2. Um, I don't I don't have his box. I kind of like the box, so I kind of keep it. But let's see, I'll open it up. He is super cute. I love it. I kind of also want to get the bread Chucky. Chucky. They really need to make a Tiffany one because I'll totally buy that one. But this one is Chucky by himself from Tiles Play 2. And he has like a little nice making his little outfit of course. And it's super cute. This is probably like one of my favorites. Next one I have is Alvira. And I kind of want to keep her in her box. I already opened it to like look at her. But like I kind of like the box too because like it has a photo of her in the back. And I really like it. So it's pretty cool. And let me take it out of the box so I can show y'all. It's like super cute. This is probably also one of my favorites out of like all mine. Hold on. If I can get the box open. Okay. It's super adorable. Like, I remember seeing it online. It first came out and I was like, oh my god, I have to have one. And finding it was on topic. And they actually had a few. And the one I was looking at first didn't have any eyeshadow on it. I don't know if you guys can see the eyeshadow, but I found it with eyeshadow. I don't know if that's a really big deal, but I don't know. But it's super cute. Like, I love her little hair. It's like, I don't know, it's super cute. She's got her little dress and everything, so yeah, this is probably like one of my favorites. The next one I have is Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead, and this is also one of my most favorite ones because I really do love the show. And I kind of, I really want to buy the rest of the collection actually, like I really want to get Pablo, Kelly, and Ruby too. Um, but yeah, Ash is probably like one of my most favorites. I'll open them up so y'all can see. Like the show was like really hilarious, like if you guys haven't seen it, you guys have to watch it. It's kind of gross sometimes, but it's pretty good. But this is him. He's super cute. He's got like a little cut in his face. He's got his little gray sideburns going on. His little chainsaw arm. And his little gun. And it's super cute. Like, okay, this is like one of my favorites actually. And he even has like little crow's feet going on. I don't know if y'all can see. If we see if we can like go. I'm probably gonna zoom in. Nothing else. Or maybe I can like zoom in like this. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, there we go. And then focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, he's got like little crow's feet going on, little cut. It's super cute, and he's like one of my favorites. Yep. I really love the show a lot. Um, but yep. And I almost forgot about this one, but this one's a little tiny Daryl Dixon keychain, and it's like tiny. It's super cute. I don't know if I can zoom in on this one. There we go. A little bit focused. There he is. Um, yep, it's super cute. I like it. There's a little tiny Doe Dixon. Doe Dixon was one of my favorite characters in Walking Dead. Before I got Glenn killed, of course. <laughs> but, yep, I like him a lot. It's like a little tiny keychain. I don't, I haven't put down any bags or anything, so, yeah, but I just have him in my room for now. Just chilling, you know. Okay, well, I have a, one more. I have Dracula, but I kind of left him at my dorm, so he's chilling on my desk right now at the moment. He's one of the... He's Bella Lugosi's Dracula. And it's super cute. It's actually one of my favorites too, which is why I, why I took him into my dorm. And I keep forgetting him. I keep... Well, I kept on wanting to make this video like last weekend, but I totally forgot him. And I forgot him again, but like whatever. So yes, I have a Dracula one that was not pictured or like shown in this video. 
So yeah, well that'll be it for the video for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below. And also subscribe for more that's coming up. Bye, thank you.